Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I put a movie out. I had COVID for 20 days in January. I hurt my back. But I'm going to do my first cook on my Lone Star Grills Santa Maria grill. I'm going to do a direct fire of these uh, uh, pork spare ribs. So I'm going to trim these up a little bit, and I'll bring you back when I'm putting the seasoning on them. Okay, I'm back. Um, I got them trimmed up pretty good. Uh, I took the breastplate off and I got the, uh, cut the last two ribs out. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna use a Worcestershire binder. And what I'm going to start with is just plain 16 mesh black pepper. And on top of that, I have some bar barbecue all purpose rub. That's Chuck from Goldie's. And I'm anxious to try this. So I'm going to put the first layer of pepper on. Hang on, let me take this out. All right, here we go. Chuck's rub. It's got the same thing. This has got different spices in it. I know she put Lowry's season salt in it, so. It's pretty fine. All right, let's get the other side. That'll do it. I'll take you outside when I get my fire going and I'll bring you right back. All right, I'm gonna show you some things. This is my new Santa Maria grill. Um, it's a, a direct fire grill. So the base model costs $13.95. And some of the extras I got, I got this eight inch wheel it was uh, $175 to raise and lower the grate and then lock it. The stainless steel, okay, stainless steel folding table I got as a extra. There. 
that was 295. Um, this heavy duty rotisserie will support up to 80 pounds of meat. And let me tell you, when I got it, it took me forever to figure out to put this just one heat shield on here. And that's all we needed. They, uh, Lone Star Grills had already welded the connections that I needed. That rotisserie kit was $495. Uh, the grill cover, I have a cover that was $389. Access door, this front access door, let you get to your wood and charcoal in there. The access door was $295. Uh, I'm sorry, eight inch wheels when I started. The eight inch caster wheels is an extra. It was 175 and this this uh, 20 inch crank handle was 75 and this stainless steel handle was $59. So in all, I paid $3,178 for this group. So I just wanna let you know <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't get all the extras. So I'll bring you back once I get a fire going in here. I'm going to throw those ribs on here. I can't wait to eat them. I'll bring you back. <clears throat> I'll put these spare ribs on this direct heat. I'm wiping this grill off with uh, olive oil. I'm putting some of these trim pieces on there too. Just to have a little snack. All right. I'm going to let them go for a little bit, and I'll bring you back. That looks good. A little bit. All right, the ribs are ready to come off. I think they look, they smell so good. Uh, the fat drips down on the fire and it puts that flavor back into it. It's wonderful. So I'm going to take these off. Take them in the house and let them rest a little bit. And I'm going to slice it into them. I'll bring you back when I cut them. Okay, I'm back. It's time to slice into these babies. They smell so good when they were cooking. I'm gonna cut right down the middle. Of course, I missed the bone. All right. I'm gonna cut this one off right here in the middle. Good. Now I've got some of my Head Country original barbecue sauce. I get it at HEB. I can't find anything that beats this. So I'm going to dip some on this. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That's so good. Mmm. The pepper. With Bars BQ's uh, all-purpose rub, came out great. Gotta grab some of that if you want to from the Barb's BQ website. So, uh, please give me a thumbs up and, and uh, uh, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you the next time I'm back there cooking something like this.